how to use Google Structure Data Testing Tool. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to show you many different ways that you can use Google Structure Data Testing Tool. What we can do is we can simply grab any URL, copy it, and fetch URL. Paste that URL into that box and let Google Structure Data Testing Tool grab the contents from that URL and validate it. As we can see, in this example, all seems okay. So, if you see the green ticks, all is great, all is good. Now, while we're here, let me show you another method to validate your web page. I'm using Chrome browser. I can press Ctrl U on my keyboard to reveal the source code that's making that web page work. If you're using Internet Explorer or different browsers, you may need to right click and view the page source. So let me press Ctrl U on the keyboard. Now I can press Ctrl A to select everything. And then copy that and go to the same testing tool and then in this box here I can mouse click into it paste that code and validate it manually so as I've shown you, you can either let Google fetch the URL or you can grab any code from your web pages place it into that testing tool and validate it accordingly. Furthermore, in this example, all is good, right? So I have no issues with the markup. But what if, let's do a test, let's grab this local business information. Keep in mind, at this stage, you can press on these little triangle icons here to reveal more details about what's been marked up. In this example, I've got this here. Yes, that's great. But let's make a little tweak so that we end up seeing an issue. So let me press on this here, because now the testing tool is going to highlight where this is coming from, from the source code. In this example, it's coming from here from the local business details, right? But what if I just simply test it to see instead of a local business, let me put offer as item type. And let me now validate that and we should see a problem. As we can see, the testing tool is showing us if there are any issues as well. So therefore, when you're marking up your web pages and you want to test it to see all is great, then you come, use this tool, whether you fetch the URL, as in let the tool fetch the URL, or whether you insert it manually to test it to see if there is any problems. In this example, it's showing me problems here. If I press on it, it's going to give me more details as to what the issue is. I can press on the issue, in this example it's this, to let the testing tool guide me to understand why Google is showing me that error. In this example it's saying, you know what, the property called branch of is not recognized by Google for an object of type offer. That's because if I highlight the URL, go to the URL, now I can see branch of, if I control F, search branch of, that property is not coming from this item type. That's why it's showing me an error. 
but if I say local business and then validate now as we can see all is great so as we saw we have different methods to dive into this tool and start exploring to see how we can mark up and if there are any issues and if so what the issues are all about so we can correct it now while we're here let me open up a brand new interface to show you different ways for you to use this tool and that is this you can press on these examples here the, the little triangle icon will reveal this drop down menu link and depending on the type of website that you have you may say you know what I want to utilize site links search box you can press on the examples always keep an eye here this little triangle icon here yeah, JSON LD microdata RDFA the examples that is shown to you in this example it's showing us JSON LD which is called JavaScript object notation linked data it's basically marking up your content using JavaScript let's grab that copy that it's not JavaScript JavaScript object notation object oriented version of JavaScript so let's copy that and let's say I want to utilize the site link search box for my website then you simply open up your home page in your main domain URL and locate this closing of head portion then you simply paste that example and all you now have to do is simply change the details to match your own website in this example if my website is rankia.com that's what I would do simply change it to match my website's details in your case you need to do the same thing for your website but critically keep an eye out on this depending on the content management system that you're using the search function of your website may use this format or it may use different format all you need to do is make sure that search pattern for your website matches this parameter here that's very important or else it won't work so that was for site links example right now for you to find the search pattern for your website all you need to do is go to your own website and simply search your search box on your website then keep an eye out on the URL pattern let's do this just to show you what I mean and is in this example my pattern is this the search pattern is this so that's what you need to keep a keep an eye on and modify accordingly for that search site link search box to work while we're here let's delete that to see another example let's grab rich snippets for products let's press on that now it's showing us an example micro data format so now all I have to do is grab this And wherever on my website templates the product details are coming from then I just have to locate that portion on my website and paste that code and then simply change the product details to match my own products make sense 
Now, if you're using content management systems like WordPress, Magento, or Shopify, and so on, all you need to do is locate the source code from your template files and then find the template for simple products. Let's imagine content product is coming from here for a sample WordPress site. Then what you need to do is simply locate that block where your product details are coming from so then as an example so then you need to modify it accordingly okay now if you're seeing all this code and getting overwhelmed don't be because you can log into your Google Webmaster Tools and under search appearance find data highlighter and start highlighting it will basically allow you to do something similar so at the end of the day this is how you need to start using structured data testing tool particularly to identify any issues and if you do then you can correct it because this tool makes available insights for you to correct the issue. I thank you very much for learning with me and I'll talk with you in the next video session.